Formula writing has never been easier than it is with Excel 2007. We covered a little about the formula bar earlier in this tutorial, and you know that it is resizable. But another nice new feature of Excel is that the formula bar can be quickly expanded to show your entire formula by choosing the Expand Formula Bar button, which is located clear to the far right of your formula bar. To demonstrate this, let me calculate the total cost of products sold. So I'm going to be taking the unit cost times the quantity sold to get my total cost. I'll start this off as a formula by typing in an equal sign and then I'll simply select my first unit cost of 25 cents in row 5. This will input up in the formula bar the actual description of what is being calculated here based on a name and we'll learn more about names later in this chapter. Now I'll go ahead and type in the time sign because I want to multiply this times my quantity sold and again I will choose my quantity sold amount here in row 5 by clicking it. This will expand out in the actual row and show my entire formula. But up here in the formula bar it might look a little confusing. You can come over here and click the expand formula bar option and that will expand down the bar easily showing everything that is being calculated in this formula. When I press enter there is my total cost of rosy raspberry muffins. Now that is a nice feature and you're easily in control of expanding and collapsing your formula bar by clicking this little button to the far right of the formula bar. Now another nice feature of Excel 2007 is the function autocomplete command. And to demonstrate this, let me come over here and choose my functions example worksheet. And I'm going to calculate a new formula here in D7. So let me, we're going to recreate the formula that you see right here. So let me delete this and I will demonstrate the function autocomplete command. So to start this off, again, I need to indicate that this is a formula. And then, since I know I want to do the index command, I'm going to start typing that by typing an I and then an N. And notice that down below here, you have your function autocomplete happening. Now I know I want the index function, so I'll go ahead and double click that to select it. And look at this nice feature. Now it shows what type of information the index function is looking for. There are two types and we're going to look at the very first one. So we need to designate what the array is that we'll be polling or that we'll be indexing. And the array that I'm looking at is from C2 to D5. So I'll just click and drag and highlight it. Now I know I need to indicate what my row number is. Now to make this formula work I need to find the match for hammers because I want to pull out how many hammers. So this is another function. I'll go ahead and type in match or an M for match and immediately the function autocomplete shows all the M functions. I want match so again I'll double click it. There it is and now it's looking for my lookup value. Well my lookup value is hammer. So I'll go ahead and type in a quotation to indicate that this is text not a number. Then hammer and end my quotation and follow it up with a comma because we're now over here in the lookup array. Well the array is within column C from C2 to C5 so I'll indicate this by clicking and dragging and again input in a comma because I'm going to my match type. Well Notice that here 0 equals an exact match, 1 equals less than, and negative 1 equals greater than. Well I want an exact match so I'll double click it. There's my exact match and now I'll go ahead and end this match function and all the information that it requires which brings me back out to the index function. And now I'm looking for what column number do I want to pull my match from. It's going to match hammer but I want it to pull the number which is actually column 2 within this array. This would be column 1, this would be column 2. So I'm going to end my function with a 2 and then close my parentheses and enter this and we will see 41 is pulled out that has been indexed from the match of hammer 
from column 2. Nice feature autocomplete as well as being able to expand your formula bar. We will learn more about functions and the function autocomplete in using the formula bar as we work through this chapter. So please move on to the next movie.